Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I have teamed up with Progressive and we're going to be talking about car safety. So how do you know if a car is safe? What does it mean if a car has a 5 star crash rating versus say a 4 star or a 3 star crash rating? So we're going to decipher what these ratings mean and the testing that goes into coming up with these ratings. So if you look at any vehicle's Monroney sticker, typically you're going to see four different ratings. So you're going to see an overall vehicle score, a frontal crash rating, a side crash rating, and a rollover rating and each one of these is going to have a star rating from one stars being the worst to five stars being the best. So what's the difference between a one star and a five star crash rating? Well let's go through each one of these individual tests, talk about how it's done and then what that star rating actually means. So the first test we're going to get into is the frontal crash test rating and so the scenario is you're driving down the road single lane in each direction and as you're driving along down that road the car in oncoming traffic veers into your lane and then you both collide into each other head on. Obviously you want to make sure the occupants are safe in this scenario. So the frontal crash test has two crash dummies in it. You've got the average size adult male which will be sitting in the driver's seat and then you have a small adult female in the passenger seat and both crash dummies will be wearing their seat belt. The car is then accelerated to 35 miles per hour where it then runs into a fixed barrier. So the front of the car is colliding into a fixed barrier at 35 miles an hour and this is representing two cars running into each other both traveling at 35 miles an hour. Now wait a minute, why does one car traveling at 35 miles per hour running into a fixed wall equal two cars both traveling at 35 miles per hour into each other? So if you think about a wall and you have a car hitting it at 35 miles per hour, if that wall is truly fixed, meaning it does not move, it has to provide an equal and opposite force in order to prevent the wall from moving when that vehicle runs into it. So if you think about two cars traveling at 35 miles per hour, once they collide, that position of where they hit each other is not going to move if they weigh the exact same. So they'll collide and then their relative position will remain the same. That fixed position where they start won't move because they both weigh the same. So a wall is just providing that energy back at it, equal and opposite, and not moving as a result. Now this also means that if you have two vehicles, you can only compare their crash test rating if they actually weigh the same. If they have different weights, then of course it's going to change that interaction. So if this vehicle is heavier than this vehicle, as they collide, they're going to move towards that lighter weight vehicle. So when comparing frontal crash test ratings, it's important that you only do so with vehicles of equal weight. So here's how we get into the star ratings. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration takes a look at the dummies after the crash. And after the crash, they make measurements all over on these dummies. And they see, they look at the head, they look at the neck, the chest, the legs, and they see what is the probability that someone in this incident would have gotten injured. And so that's what that star rating is. It's a probability that you would sustain a serious injury in the event of this type of collision. And so each star rating has a different probability associated with it. So a five star rating means you have a very low chance of having a serious injury versus a one star rating which means you have a much greater chance of sustaining a serious injury in comparison to a five star rating. Now both the driver and the passenger will each get their own rating and remember it's important to only compare cars within about 250 pounds of each other in order to make sure that it's a valid comparison when saying your likelihood of getting a serious injury in this vehicle is less than this vehicle because it has five stars versus four stars or three stars. You want to make sure that you're comparing within the same weight class. Now let's get into the side crash rating and so there's actually two tests that are performed in order to determine a vehicle's side crash rating. So the first test the scenario is you're driving down the road, you get to an intersection, you come to a full stop, and as you start driving through that intersection, someone else ignores the stop sign and collides into that driver's side directly into your vehicle. This test also uses two crash dummies. So up front you will have an average adult male in the driver's seat and then behind the driver on the driver's side you will have a small adult female dummy. And once again both dummies will be wearing their seat belts. The car will be held stationary and then you'll have a 3,015 pound moving barrier that will slam into the side of the car where the driver and the rear passenger are sitting at 38.5 miles per hour. After the collision, each seating position will receive its own star rating. So the front passenger and the rear passenger both being evaluated, looking at their head, neck, abdomen, and pelvis, for injury. And so the star rating once again is going to be the probability that a passenger sitting in this seating position during a side impact collision is going to receive a serious injury. Five star of course being the lowest probability and then one star being the greatest probability of having that injury occur. 
So that's the first part of the side crash rating. The second part, the scenario is you're driving down perhaps a windy road, you're going a little too fast and you end up sliding off the road. And as you slide off the road, the side of your vehicle, that driver's side runs into a telephone pole. So for this test, there's just one crash dummy used. So it's representing a small adult female driver. And yes, she is wearing her seatbelt. For the test, the vehicle is rotated 75 degrees and then it's dragged at 20 miles per hour into a 25 centimeter diameter pole where it impacts at the driver's seat location. After the collision, they'll then evaluate the test dummy for injury. So they're going to look at the head, neck, lower spine, abdomen, and pelvis. And so that's going to give them the probability of serious injury in that vehicle for this specific test. And that of course applies to that star rating. So each star will have a probability of serious injury occurring. Again, the the higher the star rating, the lower the probability of that injury occurring. So you'll see you have a star rating for both the front seat and the rear seat. That front seat will be the average of the two side impact tests, where the rear seat is just from the first side impact test. Now an important thing to mention with the side crash test rating is that you can compare any two vehicles. So because both of the tests are exactly the same for a side impact test rating, you can compare a vehicle regardless of how much it weighs. So if one car has a five star crash test rating and another car has a four star crash test rating, but they weigh completely different, you can actually compare them. And regardless of their weight difference, the one with the five star crash test rating has a lower probability of you having a serious injury in a side collision. The final safety rating is the rollover rating. And so the scenario is perhaps you're driving down the highway, you take your exit, and as you're getting onto that off ramp, you notice, you know, perhaps you're going too fast or the off ramp has a really sharp corner. So you try to make that corner, but you can't quite make it. And your vehicle ends up sliding off the road and into the side. And as it catches that side, as you slide off the road, the vehicle rolls over. Now, unlike the frontal and side crash test ratings, where the rating is based on the probability of injury, for the rollover rating, it's based on the probability of the vehicle actually rolling over. And this is determined primarily using a vehicle's static stability factor. The static stability factor is calculated using a simple equation, which is a ratio of the vehicle's track width, which is the width between the center line of two wheels versus the vehicle's height for its center of gravity. So a vehicle that is very wide, that has a very wide track width, will have a lower probability of rolling over versus a vehicle with a narrower track width. Likewise, a vehicle with a lower center of gravity will have a lower probability of rolling over versus a vehicle with a higher center of gravity. Now, using the vehicle's static stability factor, you can calculate the risk of a vehicle rolling over. And so this is how you get the star rating. One star, a probability of greater than or equal to 40%, two stars between 30 and 40%, three stars between 20 and 30%, four stars between 10 and 20%, and a five star rating means you have a probability of less than 10% for that vehicle rolling over. So here we have two very different vehicles. As you can see, this one quite a bit taller than this one over here. And so you can actually compare any vehicles directly for the rollover risk. This here has a four star rating as a result of a 15.1% probability of rolling over. This has a five star rating as a result of that lower center of gravity and a chance of just 8.2% for this thing to roll over. Now, each of these three ratings will be used in calculating the overall vehicle rating. So you'll have different weighting for each category, and then that will be used to give you an overall vehicle score. So once again, the overall vehicle score and the frontal crash test rating, those should only be used to compare vehicles of similar size and weight. The side crash rating and the rollover risk rating, you can compare any two vehicles. Now, finally, it's worth mentioning that all cars sold within the United States have to meet minimum safety standards. So it doesn't necessarily mean that because one car has a lower star rating versus another that it's unsafe overall. It just means that it has a higher probability, a higher risk of injury occurring in that vehicle versus the other. So this is really to be used as a tool for consumers looking at the Monroney sticker and seeing how many star ratings does this have for the different tests. As a consumer, you can say, you know, if that's something that's super important to you, if safety is super important to you, you can use that to compare direct vehicles within the same category and say, you know, this one is safer than this one. I'm going to choose it because of that. So a huge thank you to Progressive for partnering on the video and thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those below.